Okay, so this is just a quick video to show the use of Windows Photo Gallery. It's a very useful tool with very easy workflow to edit astrophotos. Um, I'm going to do two shots here, one off a forum member and uh, who's just learning with the DSLR and uh, shooting with it in ISO 800 format and the second with some example photos. So I'm just first going to show the example photos uh, just so that you get the idea of the workflow. Um, I'll just take a copy of this and uh, this. Okay, so I'm going to just double click them. Uh, this is M8, straight out of the camera, as you can see by the naming convention. Single, which is the one, 30 seconds. A single 30 second shot of M8 and a single 30 second shot of M42. So double click it, it opens Windows Photo Gallery. Uh, you can see it's a very dim shot, but low noise because of ISO 800. This is the important thing right here, edit, organize or share, tap it. <coughs> it gives you, what it does is it looks for photos on your system somewhere, not necessarily in that folder and comes up with those error messages about formats or extensions that it doesn't know. Eventually it um, shows you the fol uh, files in that folder you clicked, which I called over here as demo, and you can see it's refreshed with these images. The one that's highlighted in blue is the one that you double clicked. Just in case you've got hundreds of photos, you don't get lost, you just look for this one that you double clicked with the blue surround. So you double click that, and it actually opens the editor. And the thing is, this workflow is simple. One, step one, step two, Step three, step four, in that order. Very, very straightforward. Unlike Photoshop and Photo, what is the other one? Uh, Lightroom, GIMP, uh, Nebulosity, PixInsight, they've all got steep learning curves. This is very simple, free, and uh, doesn't have a big footprint on your laptop, and you can use it in the field at night. Uh, why is adjust detail step four? Well, in there you can sharpen and reduce noise. So it's very logical. The last thing you do is reduce noise because sharpening and these other things, straightening photo or cropping, which is what I think when I think about straightening photo, I always think crop as well. Uh, but so can color introduce noise and so can the exposure. So very straightforward. Without further ado, here's the workflow I use. Jump in. Very first thing I do is look for, in this case, uh, highlights. You can see these, not a lot of bright stuff, uh, and that's what highlights means. Anything bright, it sort of stretches the bright stuff first. Shadows will bring out detail in the shadows. So clearly that's what I'm chasing in a nebula here. Let's look for shadows. So I raise that to the right. See it bringing it out? And I mean, ISO 800 is so low noise, you might as well go the whole way. Highlights is now again the bright stuff, the stuff that isn't dark, can I bring out detail? So I just move to the right, I'm just sort of watching, doesn't give a, doesn't give that much more but that's okay. Get out of there, colour, now my colour camera um, seems to show more magenta than red, so the two sliders that you use are tint and colour temperature. Uh, color temperature to the right will make it more red, to the left will make it more blue. Uh, tint, uh, well, I'll start by doing that right now. It's moving to the right. You see how it gets sort of red? If I move this to the right though, it starts to make it more red than magenta, or beg your pardon, the tint makes it more magenta. But you can see now I've got a fair bit of um, velocity and stuff. Okay, last thing you do, uh, well I might sharpen just a tad. I usually try just one slider width and you can see it automatically zoomed in for me. And when I do that slider I'm looking for these spikes, diffraction spikes. I don't want them, you can do it backwards and forwards. Ooh, you can see the noise going around this point here as I do that too much. So if I just get back to about there. And then finally, watch all this noise that's around this sort of semi-black area when I hit this button here. It does a great job. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. So back out of there. And the last thing you do is go to exposure and just 
slowly bring the contrast to darken the background. I personally don't mind a sort of a grey background because it's kind of more natural. But I'm just going to raise it just a tad as I'm looking at the image. And you know what that'll do. To save it, you simply move on to the next picture or the previous picture. Uh, or you click the close file and you'll see a message appear down here saying saving file. So we'll just navigate to the next picture uh, like this. Don't know which one we're going to. See it so soon? Oh, we're going back to M42. So let me try and find the original M8. Well, there's the original M8. Uh, straight out of the camera. And with just those few tweaks, that's it. I could probably go a little bit more on contrast, to be honest with you. And the last trick on this is, let me just go out of it again to save. I'll, I'll even go a tad more on contrast because I'm going to show you the, the next trick. Back out of it. So it's saving. Back into it. And the trick is this. You see this highlights button? It reverts back to its middle position. So you can once again grab it and raise it to the right and increase the brightness again without too much destruction of the image. Okay, so go left, saving back to the original. All right, original shot, new shot. Pretty amazing. Right, let's just go to this copy of M42. Exactly the same workflow as I said before. I know there's detail in the shadows. Raise it out. That's probably a little bit... I can see now it's getting grey in the background, but the nebulosity around here is not really changing, so... Probably drop it back a little tad. Highlights. Just bang it right over. Same workflow. Colour, temperature and uh, tint. So let's just look at tint. You can see what I do. More green, more blue, green, blue. So I'm going a bit more over to the blue. And color temperature, blue, oops, red. So I want more red. But I also want to try and get some of those other colors. Here we go. Good enough. Detail, sharpen, I haven't really got, if I move this around a bit, have I got a, uh, a star there with a diffraction spike? Not really. Oh well, I'll give it a bit of a sharpen anyway, till I see a bit of noise. And then click the reduce noise button, back out of that, save it by going left. Come back to it by going right, go up to exposure, contrast, give it a bit more contrast, and again, highlights, here we go, probably blowing out the core a tad, so I'll decrease brightness just a tad. But again, not bad for a single 30 second shot using free software. So here's the original M42. Just a few tweaks. There it is after. Probably does need a little bit more contrast there. And or maybe a little bit less on brightness. Oops. Sorry, I'm using a touchpad here. You get the gist? Very simple, very quick, very easy to do. Okay. So, um, what am I going to use this for next? Uh, just as the preliminary introduction. Well, I'm going off to this website. Here's the Helix Nebula. Okay, and um, a very good first shot taken by a forum member here. Um, here it comes. Okay, if I download the original image, 
bottom there. Show in folder. Here it is. Control. Oops. Don't want to do that. Here we go. Control C. Control V. So I've now got a copy. So again, uh, double click that. There it is. Straight up here to this edit, organize, or share. Um, don't know why all of these are. Uh, who cares? Here's the copy. Righto. So here we are in the editor. Exactly the same as before. And we're in the copy, remember. So just exposure. Uh, shadows. Let's see if I can bring... Ooh, see there's not a lot in the shadows. That means quite a lot of the data has been clipped. So I just click up here to revert to original. Okay. And I'll just try highlights. And bang out the highlights to the right. Don't worry about all that bad noise. Color, same as before. Temperature, I wanted a little bit more red. Here we go. And a bit more in the tint. It brings the blue out. But I want more of that red. Probably drop that tint a bit more again. Out of there, detail, sharpen, just a tad, reduce noise, out of there, just exposure, right, save it. Come back to it, bang that highlights across again, I definitely want that to be more red, here we go, moving it the wrong way, probably more that way. Detail one more time. and drop the contrast get the picture right -o. original new one it's a pretty neat little trick original new one just a couple of sliders and it doesn't hurt as you saw, saving the photo coming back so you can readjust this highlights slider. Um, so anyway, hope uh, it's been enjoyable and um, as I say, very handy especially for those single shots straight out of the camera. You don't even need to use Astra Toaster. If you shoot ISO 800 it's low noise and the noise tool in photo gallery is surprisingly good. You can do live EAA with nothing more than Windows Photo Gallery and single 30 second shots. Uh, so, as I say, hope you've enjoyed it. 